How are you all? I hope you're all good and happy. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam. Okay, hello. And today I'm going to be reading this book with you. Okay, this book is called Pirate Pete and His Parrot. I think you'll find this is Pirate Pete and His Parrot. Are you ready? Oh, let's open to the first page. Mm. Oh, so much going on. Once there was a pirate called Pete who had a purple parrot. Other parrots could say, Pretty Polly, and Pieces of Eight, but not Pete's. Mm, what Pete's parrot says. Mm. So, Pete's parrot could only say one thing. He did it, squawked the silly bird. It got Pete into all sorts of trouble. Uh -oh. He did it. Uh-oh, he doesn't look very happy. Let's see what kind of trouble he gets in. Oh. One day, while the pirates were busy cleaning the deck of the Jolly Crossbones, Captain Barnacle strolled past. He didn't see a bucket of soapy water in his way and stepped straight into it. Oh dear, look. Uh-oh, he doesn't look very happy. Who left that here? Growled the captain, pulling off his wet boot. All the pirates hid their mops, but the purple parrot shrieked. He did it. Uh-oh. It wasn't me, cried Pete. But Captain Barnacle was furious. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Does look very angry. I'll run to the next page now. Suddenly, a voice from the crow's nest shouted, Land ahoy! They had arrived at a desert island. Ooh. Pete went to pick fruit for his parrot while the other pirates search for buried treasure. Ooh. The captain was so busy looking at his treasure map, he fell straight into a big hole. Uh-oh. Oh, dear, look. And guess what? Who dug this hole? He bellowed shaking the sand out of his hat. Uh-oh. He did it! Oh. oh no! Captain Barnacle was so angry. He marched Pete back, in, back onto the ship. Now I need a big drink and a nice snack, he said. He took down his special biscuit barrel from the cabin shelf. Mm -mm. Ah! cried the captain. Peering inside, who's eaten all my best biscuits? Oh dear. The purple parrot quickly swallowed the last few crumbs then he landed on Pete's shoulder and squawked. He did it! Oh no! Look. Oh dear. Sounds like Captain Barnacles isn't going to be happy. Captain Barnacles' face turned red with rage. He looked at his soggy boot, his sandy hat, and his empty biscuit barrel. The next time you cross me, you will be walking the plank, roared the captain, stomping off. Oh dear, not the plank. It's not fair, grumbled Pete. I wish I was captain. Then I wouldn't get into trouble so much. 
he picked up the captain's hat and plonked it on his head. Oh, look. He's got the captain's hat on. Do you think he's going to get into trouble? Mm. As soon as Pete put on the hat, a black ship sailed alongside the Jolly Crossbone. Ooh. A band of nasty pirates was parading, to, sorry, preparing to jump on board. Give us your gold, they cried, waving their cutlasses in the air. Cutlass is another word for sword. Mm. Suddenly, one of the pirates froze with fear. <coughs> Look, he whispered. That captain looks a lot like Hideous Harry. The world's scariest pirate. He pulled out a poster which looked just like Pete and his parrot. Can you see the poster? Oh, it's just here. Do you think this looks like Pete? Mm. Let's see what happens now then.